Hi, FBC. Happy Thanksgiving. So much to be thankful for this year. And I wanted to just share that I, I am thankful that you are a part of our church, that you've joined in what God is doing here through our church and that you are a part of this family uh, that, uh, that God has brought together for such a time as this. So thankful uh, that you are a part of our church. And uh, we have much to be thankful for this week as we celebrate and give thanks to God for all that he's given to us. And praying for your times of uh, Thanksgiving around tables coming up in the next several days, uh, that they would be blessed uh, and that your hearts would delight in the God who is so gracious and gives us so much uh, as we give thanks together. And I want to remind you right behind me, uh, we're going to have here at FBC, uh, our community Thanksgiving service we're going to host here, 7 p.m. Wednesday night. Uh, we'll have uh, a shorter service and then pie and coffee afterward and would love to have you uh, come and join us. Uh, we'd certainly love that. So mark your calendars if you can make it to join us for our Thanksgiving uh, community service. And I wanted to just share a couple of words. This is uh, Pastor Appreciation Month. I saw posted online this week uh, that someone got him a Pastor Appreciation gift that looked like this. I guess it was <laughs> their way of communicating that, that uh, he was preaching too long and that uh, Jesus was giving him some feedback on how long he was preaching. But I'm so thankful for, for you and the appreciation that you have shown to us. Uh, we're grateful for that. And I wanted to say a thank you publicly to our elders and our elders in training uh, have, have really served so faithfully with me and, and have preached from the pulpit, have prayed for, for you, have cared for you, and uh, I, I just want to publicly say here, thank you to them, to their, to their families for sharing them and for their ministry and ministering to you. Uh, this is a, a shepherd appreciation kind of a deal. And I'm so thankful. This church is healthier because we have multiple shepherds seeking to, to shepherd the flock together. And I also wanted to say thank you to our life group leaders as well, some of whom are not elders or elders in training, but are shepherding the flock, who are caring for people, who are praying with and knowing people and loving people and caring for people. Thank you. Thank you for shepherding the flock together. We are going to kick off our Advent season this next Sunday, which is November 27th, with a candle lighting and reflection as a part of our uh, musical worship time and uh, I wanted to just say, if you're interested in sharing one of those reflections, would you respond to this email? Uh, or you can reach out to me directly. We'd love to get you connected and sharing uh, some of those times. Otherwise, we're just going to reach out to folks and say, hey, would you do this? Uh, which is fine too. But if you're interested, I always love it when people come forward and say, yeah, I'd like to do that. Our family would like to do that. We'd like to light some candles. We'd like to do that. Uh, would you please respond to, to this email as well? Uh, we look forward to gathering together here this Sunday as well as we continue in Romans. And what a joy it's been to celebrate Romans. If I can just give you a sneak peek. Oh, Romans 5, the end of it is so good as we, we look at Adam and what happened through Adam's work. And we look at Christ and what happened through Christ's work. And, and we see how in Adam all die and in Christ the great blessings that come from being united to him. Uh, as our head now being found in him and the blessings that come from that and the security that comes from that. I'm just so looking forward to unpacking this text together this weekend in Romans 5 as we close out that chapter and continue in our series. Lord bless you. Lord bless your Thanksgiving this week. I hope it's a, a great time of celebration and we look forward to gathering together this Sunday.